Technic here, and I know what you're thinking. What the heck? This isn't Minecraft. And you are right. However, it is Minecraft related. More specifically, Tekkit related. And even more specifically, an app for the server! Yeah. So this is a project that's been very near and dear to my heart, and I've been working hard on it, and I'm happy to show you guys how it's coming along. This I would consider a very beta, alpha, barely even, nowhere near ready to be released. But uh, let me go ahead and run the application for you. So first you're greeted with this, the logo and some text. This is really cool. This is the chat app, which will refresh and become even more friendly once you click on it. But this is the chat app, and you can chat however you want, just kind of talk. And then you can scroll through here and either sign in, make an account, or be anonymous. And then if I go over here, this is what's really awesome about it. I'll go ahead and show you. So if I grab, say, the website, and let's smallen it down a little bit. All right. And I go to chat. Pull this guy over here. You can see Dolby Flash is required to chat. Oh, I get the iOS to see. Hey, check it out, which is not available yet. But if I say hey on here and I say anonymously, it's integrated. So now you can chat on the website. You can chat on your phone. Plus, you can even see if the server is up or not with the server status page. And you can see the server is online and there are 15 people online. So this was just a quick look at the iOS app beta alpha really early in development stages. But both Alex and I have it and if you have an iOS device and you really want to test it out, you can let me know and I can get you registered for beta testing. Um, yeah, pretty much. So I like the way it's looking because if not, and if you haven't used it before, then if you've used it before, you'd know this, but, um, trying to use the web site on here is not a very fun. I mean, like, as you can see, you know, you got to pinch to zoom and kind of make your way around a good bit. And then even if you go to the chat, because of the way that the device loads the page, because it knows that it's not a mobile, I mean it is a mobile platform, it will load the chat so that you can view it. However, the chat does not work very well in this mode. As you can very, very clearly see. It's usable, but I highly recommend using the iOS app. But in the meantime, this will definitely get the job done. So, that said, guys, thanks for stopping by, and, uh, oopsie. Yeah, I guess so. I'm thinking I'm going to be integrating videos here soon, too, because trying to watch videos on something like this, you know, where you gotta, like, scroll through and pick tech it, and then finally load up these all these little views and stuff, that's kind of a pain. So I'm thinking I'm gonna integrate some videos in as well. So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed the little spotlight of what is to come with the iOS app, and uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.